Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. What it do? It is your boy King Kane, aka the Fit Pharaoh, coming at you with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna keep it nice, short, and sweet. I have a lot of energy because I'm getting ready to go to the gym and shoot another video for a different workout, which I'm gonna be posting soon. So stay tuned. Uh, today, uh, the video that I'm dropping right now was a uh, a quick, short cardio workout video. I'm, I'm kind of hyped, so I'm you know tripping over my own words. So. With that being said, guys, I have three different types. I have a type A, B, and C workout for cardio and pretty much every other workout, which basically means it's a beginner, or intermediate, and a very, very intense because that's just what I do. Um, without further ado, guys, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and check out some of my other videos. If you so happen to feel like it, drop a comment. Let me know what you want to see or if you have anything you want to say, please do so. But with that being said, guys, let's get into the video. Alright guys, starting off back, what I'm doing is jump roping. Jump roping is a very good way to warm up. A lot of people like to say that you should probably stretch your muscles before you work out, but I don't know how I feel about that. I've been doing it for years and it hasn't done nothing wrong to me ever since. So yeah, I have to say why not stretch before you do any kind of warm up. But to me this is stretching and warming up at the same time. Uh, normally when I do jump ropes, I do jump ropes for at least 30 minutes. Obviously not the whole time through, I'll do 3 minutes on and a one minute break in between. So that's pretty much my jump rope session, at least 30 minutes. It's a good way to burn fat, trust and believe me, it works. Coming from being 300 and, and I think 20 pounds to now I'm 250, I'm, going, I'm only dropping even more. Trust and believe me, it works. All right, on to the next part of it. So this is a chain and ball rope. I forgot what they call it, but I can just call it a power ball. I think that's what it's called anyway. It's a really good exercise to use. So please guys, think about uh, putting that into your workout. This thing right here really helps you create balance and also helps you with power as well too. Uh, think about it just like throwing punches. You don't use your arms and your shoulders to throw punches. You use your hips to generate that power. And as you can see when I'm using the ball, I'm swinging my hips. That's where it's coming from. Don't just use your upper body because you can actually injure your spine by doing it. Believe me, the power ball is a very good thing to invest in and put into your workout. At this point, I'm using, I think it was like a 15 pound ball. I don't go no heavier than 30 when it comes to this thing because I'm using momentum to help me swing it. I'm not actually lifting it. And this one, I'm using, I think that is a 20 pound ball. It, it, it's, it makes all the difference the harder you hit it against the wall. Now, with these, I do one minute on and 30 second breaks. So the last uh, 10 seconds of the, of the minute, I'll go hard as I, I'll go as hard as I possibly can. You'll see me pick up speed it's because I'm slamming against the wall even hard for the last 10 seconds of that workout. So when I use the power ball, I do a minute on and 30 seconds off. See, I'm picking up the pace now. All right, jumping into the next exercise, man. I forgot what it's called. I think it's called the uh, terrain climber. I'm not sure what it is, but that is a very good machine i love using it it's a good way to get your heart rate up and you'll burn so much fat it's just like mountain climbing just using a a, a machine that's pretty much it um it, it speaks for itself you see what i'm doing uh when i'm on this i'm on it for five minutes on and i'll try to do a minute to a minute and a half of a break that that seems like a long break but trust me when you're doing it in a hot environment it it makes all the difference so when i'm using the mountain climber i just call it mountain climber because i don't know what the heck it's called I try to do it for five minutes straight. You don't have to go extremely fast, but when I get to the last minute, I'll try to pick up the pace just a little bit. I don't know. It's just it's a very good machine, guys. You will definitely you will definitely activate your cardiovascular muscles by doing this. I'm so serious. You burn, you sweat. It's a good machine to use. And you can see at certain times I don't even get windy. I'm telling you, this this machine will really kick your butt. If you put in the work, the I'm telling you, it will work. Very good machine. And every now and then I had to get off, man. That'd give me some war. I'm gonna be honest. All right, on to the next one. This is another great machine. If you really want to burn some weight or drop some water weight, I'm telling you, this right here is a very good machine. The Jacob Ladder. It's, it's almost the same thing as that, but you have something on you that's strapping you down to pull you. So it gives you more of a resistance tug. And for those who want to know who have leg problems like me, 
I had really skinny legs, like super skinny bird legs. I hate how small my bird legs were. But that machine right there was a, a, a thing of beauty. It helped me uh, activate my calf muscles a lot more. At the last few seconds of doing each uh, uh, session on there, because I'll do a three-minute session on there as well. At the last ten seconds on this, though, because it's very intense, I'll go as fast as I can. You'll see me do it at the end of the, uh, the clip of it. But yeah, you can see my my calf muscles are really activated right now. I use the I try to just use the tips of my toes to stay on the bar. And like I said before, I pick up the pace at the last ten seconds. And you see how much it's activating my calf muscles. So that was really helpful to use for calves. A very good thing. It's very intense, nice, short, sweet, and very simple. Uh, again, I'll, it's like sprinting almost. The last ten seconds, just sprint through it. And don't forget to breathe. You have to breathe. <laughs> Alright guys, getting into more fun things now. I'm using the sled, uh, the weighted sled. We're doing some little drills. I'm doing sprints. I do five of each, but I'm not going to show you all of that. But just take my word for it, guys. I do five of each. There and back is one. And see, halfway through, I'll do bear crawls. But I don't call it bear crawls. I call it dog sled because I'm pulling a sled. I look like a freaking pit bull. So yeah. So I call them dog sleds. And that was considered one. You do that five times. You don't have to, but that's what I did. Next up, I'm doing the same thing, but just backwards. It's kind of inverted in the same way. And this is going to help you with your glutes, your legs, your quads, period, arms. You'll Just try it, and I guarantee you'll see what is working. It's a good thing. It doesn't put no strain in you. It's not on my neck. It's like a vest, and it's on my back. You try to stay up as long as you possibly can. And this one really kicked my butt, man. This was the last set. I didn't show you one fresh. I just showed you the very last one. It, it is a hard one, and take your time doing it. See, I, I had a, I had a drop. <laughs> and see, in the back of my mind, I'm like, man, I don't want to do this crap no more. This is just too much. <laughs> but no pain, no game, guys. You got to put in that work to get what you're trying to get. All right, here I'm doing a little bit of footwork. You know, you got to do that little footwork showing people you know how to dance. And that was it. Each one of those things I did with the sled was five of each. Now, another favorite of mine is tire workouts. I love messing with the tires. This right here is a full body workout. And try it. Believe me, you will feel every bit of it. It is a good thing. And you're gonna have to you're gonna have to do it to the best of your abilities with this because it requires you to use a lot of upper body strength, but you're using every bit of your muscles, your legs, your back, abs, because you're squeezing at the same time. It, it takes a lot out of you guys, believe me. You see, I'm 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 dang near folded right now. I did a few more clips of it because like I said, it was very fun. It was my one of my favorite workouts to do with the tire. Yeah. Definitely invest in doing one of these workouts, man. I'm telling you. It's very high tense. Your heart rate will definitely be up. But, you know, like I said, guys, take your time with some of these workouts, too, you know. You don't have to go hard every workout. Just take your time. Ease through it. This is the last bit. We're going to wrap it up, guys. Um, like I was saying, some of the workouts I do are just so weird to a lot of people. So don't let that stop you from trying the workouts because people are going to look at you regardless. They're going to wonder why you're doing something so weird because it's not something they normally do. Alright, and another bit that I added in there. It's just a little challenge I did for myself. I've seen other people do it too, so I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna try to claim that this is my workout. But it's pretty crazy, it's intense, and it's really nice. So I like doing stuff that's really hard for me. Again, each thing I did you saw with the sled or anything on that grass field, I did five of each. That was it, guys. Hopefully, you guys liked it. All right, guys. Sorry about the weird cut and all the clipping and stuff that I had to do with it being a yesterday's workout and me talking about it today. But you know, I couldn't. I didn't. After working out and doing what I did yesterday, it was so intense that I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I, I didn't feel like doing no outro. I forgot to do the intro to it, so this is my excuse for not doing that. All right, so that was the cardio workout video that I did. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys in on something. My workouts aren't really the most used workouts that you'll see in the average 
routine. Like some of the things you'll be like, why? Why is he doing all that extra stuff? It's because I like to do extra stuff in my workouts because if I don't mix it up, it's going to be boring and I'm not going to want to do it. So I have to I have to mix it up and do some extracurricular stuff to my workouts. And with that being said, there's a lot of times that people want to do workouts, but they don't do it because they're self-conscious about how it looks to other people. Stop worrying about other people. Do your workout the way you feel fit. If, as long as it works for you and it's not hurting you and it's not hindering you from being able to do other things in the future, like far as, uh, if, as long as you're doing it correctly in a manner where it's not straining you, that's all that really matters. So what I'm, what I'm saying is, guys, do a workout. And if somebody questions you on your workout, excuse my language, but fuck them. Do you. Work out and feel good about you. That's the whole purpose of working out. That's the whole purpose of wanting to be fit to begin with because you're working on you. So when people critique you on your workouts and all that, unless they're helping you, fuck them. It's that simple. Fuck them. Okay? Do you enjoy your workouts and create your own workouts. Like modify workouts that you've seen and make it harder or make it more extracurricular. Do whatever you want to your workouts. It's your workout. It's your body. Train your body the way you want to train your body. Look at people for tips, but do what you can with your with their tips and modify it to work for you. That's how I feel about it. So not trying to be rude or nothing, but that's just my little tip to you guys that use other people's advice, but modify it to work for you. With that being said guys, that was my time. King Kane the Fit Pharaoh. Many more videos coming soon. Again, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or anything that you want to drop, please put it in the comments. I'll be happy to respond to it as quickly as I possibly can. Again, that has been my time. King Kane the Fit Pharaoh.